Hello everyone and welcome back to the world of finance. You are watching Finance Concepts with Nikhil. In this video, we are talking about hedging through commodity futures. Now, what is this hedging through commodity futures? We have learned earlier hedging through stock futures, hedging through index futures. Now, why commodity futures? There is a simple reason. What we find around us People trade even in commodities. People trade in commodities, they trade in precious metals, they trade in copper, they trade in food grains also. That means someone might simply enter into a speculative transaction or even a transaction of arbitrage in commodities. However, we are not talking about speculation or arbitrage over here. Our objective is to understand hedging through commodity futures. Imagine that there is an investor who has planned to trade in commodities, say for example copper and say investor has taken a long position in copper. Suppose investor has bought say 1000 kgs of copper and has that stock of copper lying with him. Now to hedge the risk of copper there may not be any stock future or index future that can be used because even index future is with respect to stock market index. We would want some kind of future contract where the underlying asset is this commodity. So for hedging the risk of copper, we should have a futures contract where the underlying asset is copper, which we can therefore call as a copper future contract. So to hedge the risk of copper that you are holding in stock, you may use copper futures contract. In simple words, we are trying to hedge risk of any commodity through commodity futures. So friends, you may please pay attention on the screen and let us take an example to understand this whole scenario. Let us take up question number 21 and just read the question. A company is long on 10 metric tons of copper at the rate of rupees 474 per kg spot and intends to remain so for the ensuing quarter. The standard deviation of changes in its uh, spot and future prices are 4% and 6% respectively having correlation coefficient of 0 0.75. What is its hedge ratio? What is the amount of copper future that the company should short to achieve a perfect hedge. So friends, uh, basically let us try to analyze the question first. The company is long, that means company is holding stock of this copper, 10 metric tons of copper. Price of the copper at which the company has bought it is uh, 474 per kg. You would want to convert this uh, per kg value into total value in terms of 10 metric tons. Important thing is company intends to remain so that means this company is not going to sell copper what it is holding right now. Because it is going to hold it, it is willing to enter into a copper future contract to hedge its position and it is aiming at a perfect hedge. You are going to hedge the risk of copper held in spot market through the copper future contract. That means the instrument through which you are planning to hedge is copper future contract and the commodity that you are hedging is the copper itself. So obviously we will require beta of copper future with respect to copper spot and that is why you have been given standard deviation of both spot and futures and you have been given correlation coefficient between the spot and futures market. So let us see how to proceed with the solution. In the solution we would first mention the fact that the company requires a perfect hedge and therefore the hedge ratio must match with beta. So you begin your solution by writing in order to create a perfect hedge the hedge ratio must match with beta. In this case beta has to be the spot beta in relation to the futures price. So beta will be standard deviation of spot divided by standard deviation of futures multiplied by correlation between spot and futures prices. So you may write the meaning of these notations and 
then we will find the beta of uh, this spot with respect to the futures. So, that beta comes to 4 by 6 into 0 0.75 and that is finally 0 0.5. Alright friends, moving ahead, we would first determine the total value of uh, copper held in spot. So, what we do is the quantity held is uh, 10 metric tons, each metric ton would be equivalent to 1000 kgs. So, 10 into 1000 kgs, it would be in total 10,000 kgs and that will be multiplied to the per kg price that is 474. So, 47 lakh 40 thousand is the total value of copper held in the spot. Now, the hedge ratio has to be 0 0.5. We have already mentioned this earlier that in order to create a perfect hedge, the hedge ratio must match with beta and beta was computed as 0 0.5. Therefore, the desired value of copper futures will be the value of copper spot into hedge ratio that will be rupees 47 lakh 40 thousand multiplied by 0 0.5 that results into rupees 23 lakh 70 thousand. So, the company should short 3 month copper futures for total target value of 23 lakh 70 thousand. Alright friends, I am sure you would have understood this whole example and this was quite an easy concept particularly after you have learnt hedging through index futures, this was quite easy. So, you would not want to miss any videos that I am uploading and therefore, again and again I request you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and the moment you subscribe it, don't forget to put on the notification bell. So, I will be committed to keep uploading more and more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching this video.